Welcome to Master Trader, where you learn simple market analysis to make money investing and trading in the markets. I'm Dan Gibby, Chief Options Strategist, and in this chart of the week, I'm going to show you how we sell credit spreads around compelling chart patterns on options that expire just within a day or so. Let's begin. Buyers of call or put options, they are paying money and that gives them the right to either buy or sell the underlying on or before a certain expiration date. The seller, which is what we're going to focus on in this video, we're going to receive that money and we have an obligation to buy the underlying if we're selling a put or to sell the underlying if we're selling a call. But we are going to use our chart analysis and master trader approach where we think that money is going to expire worthless. We're taking the other side of the bet of the option buyer. So when we're, sh we're shorting credit spreads or just even naked options, we're literally getting paid the premium that we're receiving by selling those options. We are profiting through time decay and also volatility contraction and also as the stock moves in the intended direction. There is so much misleading education out there about, about pretty much everything, but in particular the financial markets and option trading. What I'm going to show you here today, some people might say, oh my gosh, that is so risky. Don't ever trade short-term expiring options. And we just totally disagree with that, that, uh, that misconception. Stocks can only move in one of three directions. Uptrend, higher pivot highs, higher pivot lows. Downtrend, lower pivot highs and lows. Or sideways trends, relatively equal highs and lows. So in uptrends, we're going to sell them on bullish reversals on support and also bullish reversals on major support in sideways trends. We're going to win in two out of three directions. The stock can go up, it can chop around sideways, or it can even go against us all the way down to our break-even point and we still make money. Bear call credit spreads where we're going to sell one call option at resistance in downtrends at resistance and also at major resistance and sideways trends and then we're going to buy a further out of the money call and that's what's called a credit spread and we're going to profit if the stock goes down chops around sideways or it can even go against us a little bit i call that the cushion to be wrong and that's because of the premium that we receive for the out of the money strike it gives us room where we still get to keep the money as long as it doesn't close in the money. And that's why I have this little guy over here saying, stock, do whatever you want to do. Just stay away from my short strike price so I can make my full profit. Here's another way of looking at a credit spread. Uh, these are all bullish patterns. And then we use the master trader strategies to say, okay, where is this turn happening? What trend is it in? What do multiple time frames look like? Which is going to be a focus of today's lesson also. We're going to sell a put under support. We're going to take part of that money that we received and buy a further out of the money put. And that's what's called a put credit spread. The net credit that is immediately deposited into our account is our potential maximum gain. And once we put on these trades, then we simply manage in between, put a stop loss, and we profit it, as I said, through time decay, volatility contraction, and as the stock moves in the predicted direction. Here's two trades that we did last week. I wanted to, to go over here with you to show you exactly our approach and the reasoning for when and why we entered these particular credit spreads. This one was a one day to expiration. Tesla here. Uh, the green arrow here. So this was on a Wednesday. On a Thursday, it had a bearish gap into this wide range bar because this was a bullish close, this bullish uh, green bar where you could have bought a breakout over the preceding red bar time. Then bearish gap, 50% into that bar. That's danger, danger. It shouldn't have done that. It shouldn't have done that. You can see here now on a 15 minute chart, this vertical line is the new is the new day. So you can see a bearish gap into this bullish end of day rally, which was this green bar. And now the, the opening gap is down here. Couldn't bounce, couldn't bounce all morning long. This green bar was ignored, broke down. This is what we call a sell setup. 
into the 2 p.m. reversal time. That would have been a fantastic time to enter this, but I frankly didn't notice it then, and so we did it more at the 2.30, um, 3 p.m. reversal periods here, where it's in a downtrend now. It's traded under the green bar's low, because this was, this was the low of the green bar. You can see it went under that, so it's a full 180 re bearish reversal now. And green bar ignored, that's where we sent this out to our weekly options trader subscribers. This is, our, this is how we communicate intraday through telegram alerts. All of our setups give a date, the symbol, the strategy. So we shorted a $20 wide bear call credit spread. We shorted the $700 strike. Why 700? Well, once it traded under this green bar's low, and it's after 3 p.m., we, so we got less than an hour in, the, in, in Thursday. So we're pretty much just taking one day, one full day of risk, one day and one hour. And we're saying, based on this ugly two-bar reversal, I don't think it's going to go back over $700 in, in the next 25 hours. That's the bet we are taking. So we sold the 700 we just went $20 high, we, so we sold a $20 wide credit spread, and we took in $0.95 cents a share. If you sold one contract, $9,500 would hit your account. You sold 10 contracts, $950 would hit your account. We have a stop loss over the prior bar's high, so we would never, ever come anywhere near a, po a potential maximum loss. And in fact, many times, even if we are stopped out, we still make money because of the time decay and volatility contraction. This, this is uh, where we entered. This is the next day now. And I put an arrow on this bottoming tail because here's the next day where I sent out an alert saying, go ahead and just close half at 20 cents. The market was getting oversold. The NASDAQ was getting oversold, which I'll show you in the, in the next slide that we did on the spiders are closed half at 20 cents. And then I said, uh, just bid two cents for the back half, let it ride and then move uh, and then tighten our stock. So that, that was a fantastic one DTE trade. Let's uh, look at the other example where we did a zero day to expiration trade. So zero means we're doing it on expiration day on a Friday. And we love doing them on the SPY or the SPX because they have multiple expirations during the week. And we, we love that because all we're doing is calling a short term top or bottom for a couple of hours and getting paid for that bias that we are making with, with our technical approach. Hourly here is what we call a climactic buy setup. We have five or more red bars far away from the 20. I have a big bottoming tail here which I'm going to now show you a microscope of this tail because a smaller time frame is going to, going, to, going to zero in on what's really happening here. So we knew we were close and I, I gave you a tiny uh, snippet here of the daily chart of the spiders um, and why we picked the 385 uh, short strike. It was right here at the 50 day moving average, this green line. So we, even though the day's low, um, when we entered it was 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 above 387 uh, we we went two dollars out but let, let's focus on the timing of when we entered this we knew we were getting close to a turn we had the reversal period 1030 reversal period we had our our, our tick that we watched for intraday um, overbought oversold we had a tick extreme everything was getting oversold so we had a nice bounce here but it's still in a downtrend and we want confirmation of a bullish turn. So Greg and I were watching this live in the green trading room. We blew up our two minute screen uh, chart and I said, hey, this is, I think is setting up for a fantastic, not only trading opportunity, but for educational lesson. I said, let's all just concentrate on this in real time. So it tried to stabilize here and make a higher low. And we said, no, you know what would be absolutely ideal? And we, all, we always don't get what we want, but we paint different scenarios in our heads so we're, we're, we're prepared. We said, let this make a new low. And then if it's a breakdown failure, a new low failure, then we're gonna strike. So it did make a new low right here. 
See, here's a low, here's a low, and it didn't go much further. It snapped right back with a bullish engulfing bar. This is an inside bar, which we then call a bullish one, two, three continuation. This is our perfect confirmation bar. This third, the second inside bar, traded under the red bar, snapped right back with a bottoming tail. We're good to go. Right where this arrow is, we sent out the text alert to sell this. In this case, it was a $8 wide. And on zero DTE, it's fine if you want to do them naked, if you don't have a, a buying power problem. But what, what we typically do is just go far enough out where you're only paying a penny or two for the out of, out of the money one. And we, we did that, took in 45 cents a share. Stock started moving up. Uh, I said here, I sent out a new alert same day, a couple hours later. Midpoint to close is 18 cents a share, which means we're already over 60% six, over of potential max gain. So then I said move stop, either the tighter break even or I gave it a new pivot. And we, um, at the end of the day, closed it out at, uh, or prior to the end of the day, we closed it out at two cents just to, to be done with it. This is uh, what I, uh, Dr. Paul Inkless, we, uh, we nickname him uh, McGraw in the green trading room. He, he's been trading, you know, it's 90s and 80s, and uh, he's, he's been with us for a while now. I've had a much higher win percentage since joining Master Trader. This old dog has learned some new tricks. Uh, we love him, but this is one of his favorite trades. He is very active in trading the, the big contract, the SPX credit spreads, and he does them with amazing accuracy um, using um, using you know his approach, but coupled with 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 our market timing, as I as I just showed you there, 97% win rate, and um, you know hats off to McGraw there. So if this is a strategy that interests you, um, go to mastertrader.com forward slash spread trader. We have a five module advanced credit spread course, and then a really turbocharged, uh, detailed 12 module comprehensive course. Uh, the mastering advanced credit spreads and the majority of the people upgraded this one because they love it and and want to get the best education that they can and we we put together a package here where we throw in three months of the green trading room which is what i just mentioned um, with mcgraw there and and it's where we focus on these in real time and uh, three months of the weekly options trader which is our service that only sells option and credit spreads like we've been reviewing in this video that expire 10 days or less. And the reason 10 or less is because of uh, the Greek called theta, and that's time decay. Uh, so coupled with our approach is, is um, pretty deadly accurate. We're, this is a fantastic strategy, so I encourage you to check it out, take a trial, come see us in the green room. Good trading, and we will see you next time.